sometimes you just got to get in the water and take a damn selfie. Hey everybody, it is Mike Les, Farmhand Mike here, and we just had some beavers move in here, one of the creeks here, and one of the farms, so I'm going to do a little inspecting here, get some traps set, and let's just look around here. Got a pretty nice sized dam here, looks like their winter feed pile right there, and I see a beaver lodge right up there. Not a real big one, so I'm guessing probably just two beavers, a pair of beavers moved in here maybe late last summer or so forth built this habitat up but uh anyways i'm gonna go back to the truck i'm gonna get my hip waders on grab some 330 conner bears come back here and do a little exploring hopefully get some traps set all right you can see they got quite the dam here and not a real big beaver hut here but uh looks like we got two holes i think one swam out of there and i think i got another hole up there where that stick is so i'll just stick some 330 conna bears in here and hopefully get them out of here i found one entrance right here i got a 330 conna bear in there kind of put some guide sticks and stuff to help get it in the right spot it's uh right where they're swimming in and out it's kind of hard but all around it, I'm sinking in pretty deep. Lots of beaver activity back here. I mentioned that I was setting a 330 conna bear. So those of you not familiar with trapping, a conna bear is a body gripping trap. And there's a couple different sizes. There's a 110, that's used for muskrats and so forth. There's a 220, which I do have some of them. I don't really use them. And then the 330 is used for beavers, but uh, it's a pretty big body gripping trap and a dog or something could get its head in it. So a 330 conna bear in Ohio has to be completely submerged underwater just for safety and so forth. A little bit about beavers as I walk around here. You can see all the trees these things have uh, gnawed on and taken out. Uh, beavers are a rodent. They can be very destructive. Um, but beavers were almost extinct here in the early 1900s and so forth. A lot of the early setters come over here for trapping beaver fur. Very popular fur for making hats and coats and gloves and so forth. And um, trapped almost extinction. Back when I was a kid and was trapping with my dad... Um, beavers were starting to make a comeback and you could start trapping beavers again in Ohio but there was a limit I think you were only allowed two per year or so forth but anymore there's enough of them it's not really a problem they're actually uh, kind of a pest right now uh, as you see all the trees these have taken down the areas they flood out and so forth in theory uh, what a beaver does is great for uh, habitat because they will come into a creek they'll flood it out uh, build this water up you know be a good place for ducks waterfowl and so forth fish whatnot but uh, like here in Ohio being an agriculture area a lot of these creeks and drainage ditches are meant for farm drainage even a lot of the towns and stuff their water drains into these creeks so this is going to cause big problems if this is left uh, go here because what these beavers are going to do is uh, they're going to build this habitat up and these uh, what I think we got here is two-year-olds and uh, beavers get kicked out when they're two years old and uh, they have to go find their own habitat and uh, beavers will then uh, made up and so in their third spring I guess when they're about three years old they'll have their first litter and they can have up to four to six beavers and then they will eventually build their colony here so they will actually build this dam up they will flood out more area they'll start digging canals and so forth through all here to get the more trees and just create a lot of chaos.
And beavers will actually uh, come into a cornfield. If you've got a cornfield along a creek that uh, beavers are at, they'll come in, they'll take out acres of corn and so forth. Corn stalks make uh, good material for building dams and lodges. And this is the beaver dam right here. And a lot of people uh, think beavers live in a dam. No, the dam is just used to build an area to flood it to give them more protection in the water and so forth. So they build the dam, create their habitat, but they actually live in a beaver lodge. Or if there's a bank, uh, sometimes they'll build bank dens and actually live uh, where they swim into the bank, underwater, and up in. And I'll just show you another close-up of the dam here so you can see how much the water levels up where they built the dam. It's quite amazing what these animals can do. All right, I got my trap set. Let's get out of here. Hopefully, I think there's only two in here because it's a small lodge. So anyways, we'll be back in the morning. See what we got. I'm back the next morning, and here's where I set a 330 conibear under the water where they are coming in and out, and I got a beaver. This one's not real big, but uh, anyways, first trap I checked, got a beaver here. Let's pull it out and see what we got. And as you can see, the conibear trap there, body gripping trap, so that's a good head catch right there, and uh, beaver's not getting away. Oh boy. Bigger, ain't it? That's yeah, he looks bigger. Damn. That's a nice size beaver. He got out of the water. He tore the hell out of shit. Cause the trap was clear in there. Yeah. Wow. That's a nice head catch. Yeah. Got two of them last night, and we're going to break the dam open and see if anything comes back. Two beavers. Okay. back here at the beaver dam in the beaver lodge 24 hours later after I caught those two beavers and the easiest way to tell if the beef you got all the beavers or not is break the dam and yesterday we poked the hole in the dam and they will always come back and rebuild that dam or fix it so nothing's come back and fixed it so I thought just because of the size of the lodge it was just a pair of uh, two and a half year old beavers here and that's probably the case because nothing's been back and the water level's gone down. So we'll walk back here. Now that the water level's down, we'll just look at a couple other things. So right here, because the water was up to here before we broke that, and then you can see a better look at their feed pile there. So what beavers will do is, prior to winter, they'll build a feed pile here, so if it freezes over, they can still swim out of their lodge, come over here, and get some uh, branches and feed and stuff to, uh, eat through the froze while well, it's frozen so let's just have a look at the beaver hut or the beaver lodge here so they build this they got their entrances that come in through the water and then they come up in and just look how tight this is like I mean they build this with uh, sticks mud and grass but I mean this is just solid and let's look here so you can see the beavers they eat the bark off and then 
can see where they chewed on it here and then when they're done with it then they use it for building supplies and so forth looks like the coyotes ate up on a deer back here A pair of mature beavers can weigh upwards in the 50, 60 pound range and they can get a lot bigger than that. And a lot of people commonly mistake muskrats for beavers, but muskrats are a lot smaller. So we'll have to come back here uh, and knock the rest of this dam out, maybe get an excavator or so forth back here. But the thing we could have, you know, more beavers back in here next year. We'll just have to see and try to keep after them. Uh, definitely a very interesting animal. I do like trapping them do like watching them work and so forth but uh like i said in today's agriculture and all the drainage dishes and stuff here they just cause a lot of problems and guys want them out of here so that's going to do it for this video um i did have another farmer contact me uh, about 20 miles south of here that's got some beavers in one of his drainage ditches so maybe heading down there and if i do i'll be making another video Stay tuned. And I just want to mention everything I did in this video was done in accordance to the current Ohio trapping laws. These beavers were skinned and stretched for their fur. Um, I did not eat these beavers. Some people do eat beaver. I had beaver jerky a couple years ago. It wasn't too bad. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to my channel. And thanks again, everybody, for watching.